Job 12, 7 through 9. But now ask the beast, and they shall teach you, and the birds of the air shall tell you. Okay, first off, these creatures do not speak, but they are example of God's power. And through creation, we can see who God truly is, although creation is not God. And many people make this attempt in religions where creation itself is God, or they make gods out of creation, which most of the time multi, multiple gods. But cre scripture talks about how creation speaks to God's glory, which is this is a reference to um, verse 8. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach you, and the fish of the sea shall declare you. So, in a way, he's kind of mocking them, but what he's saying is true, because creation shows that there's a creator. However, this does not make a personal relationship. Job didn't understand the idea of a personal relationship with God, because at that time it wasn't done. Only through Christ is that done. Even those who serve God were a little distant from God, because that personal relationship wasn't created yet until we came to Christ and received the Holy Spirit in us. But through creation, we can see characteristics of God. He's detailed. He's loving because He provides for everything. Verse 9. What does not know in all these that the hand of God has wrought this? And so what he's saying is God's all-powerful. If you can't see God's in control, then you don't see nothing. The same thing goes for us today. If we can't see who God is and can't see Him in control, then what do we see? Because it doesn't matter? No, it don't at that point.